Hello everyone and welcome back to Python Lessons on Code Academy. Today we will be starting a project called Big Latin on Python. So let's begin. Um, I don't really understand how Big Latin works, so I will literally just be following the steps that Python tells us on how to do it. So let's see. Um, it it tells us that it's a big Latin language, so at the end we need to add an A. So Python becomes I Python Pay, apparently. So uh, what we need to do is ask the user to input a word in English, make sure the user entered a valid ver word, convert the word from English to Pig Latin and display the translation result. All of this we're going to be doing throughout the project. So let's start. Let's print the phrase Pig Latin. Just a reminder to print something that, such as a string, you have to put print uh, and then the string that you want to print. Um, to get an input, you have to use a function called bar input. Uh, all of the functions that I know need parentheses, so make sure that you include those. Let's see what it wants us to do. On line four, use bar input, enter a word to ask a user to enter a word. So, user word equals bar input um, enter a word uh, we need to call it in a variable called original sorry so let's see what happens when we do this as you can see it uh, the console asks us for an input and this input can be anything from a number to just random letters and numbers and even characters. All of it is going to work with bar input. But what we need to do is make sure that the word is a valid word, which we will do throughout the whole project. So let's move on. Um, now we need to make, ensure that the user actually typed something. So if they just press enter, that is also a string, but it's a blank string. So we need to make sure that the user does not do this. So let's start off with an if statement. Um, we need to check that the length of original, so the input, is bigger than zero. This means that whatever the user enters should be at least one character. If the string actually has some characters in it, print the user word. So we need to print original. If this is true. Don't forget the colon like I did. Um, otherwise, we need to print empty. So we need to tell the user that what they entered was nothing. So let's see what happens. Let's not enter anything. So by just pressing enter, you're not entering anything. So it's going to print empty. Let's move on. Um, now we know we have a non-empty string. Let's be even more thorough. In the first line, we create a string with that is a number. The second line then runs the function is alpha, which returns false to the string contains non letter characters. Let's make sure that the word the user enters contains only alphabetical car characters. You can use is alpha to check this, for example. So, we need to use an and to add a second condition to your to our if statement. So, to do this, we need to put an and. Uh, this is going to be evaluated before and so it's not going to be zero and something. It's going to be length original bigger than zero and 
our statement that we're going to make sure that original is alpha. This alpha is also a function, so therefore it needs parentheses. So let's see what happens now. Okay. So that's fine. Let's move on. Um, so take some time to test our, your current code. Try some inputs that should pass and some that should fail. Enter some strings that contain non alphabetical characters and an empty string. So to do this, I will be using Python because I made a mistake and entered only good letters. So as you can see, it enters into here. So this should be fine because I just tested it in my program. So let's put A and let's move on. So in the next video, we'll be moving on with part two of Pig Latin. For now, thank you for watching and bye.